while I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And and I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Merry Christmas Eve, friends. Hope you guys are up early because you're sitting and looking at your tree or you are just relaxing with your thoughts and not because you're going to be running around like a crazy person. Um, so let's jump into this. That way you guys can help me and keep me company while I do some surface prep for some upcoming projects. So number one, let's talk all things Club Couture. Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month. It is only $19.99 plus tax in the U.S. and $26.99 plus tax in Canada, and it will ship free to you, um, every single month. Now, um, what will ship free to you, you may ask? Well, it's going to be an exclusive size B transfer uh, that is, sorry, guys, I was, my dad texted me. I was like, why is he texting so early? Uh, let me just respond to him. Sorry. He worried me. He worries when he texts me that early. Um, it's an exclusive transfer that only Chalk Couture designers and Club Couture customers can get. Um, and like I said, that's not all you're going to get. You are going to gain access into my private VIP group where I will make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck. Um, and I do have a project that I'll be posting today with our December Club Couture and it turned out so cute. I just need the greenery to finish it off. You will also get exclusive flat rate shipping. All of my customers currently receive flat rate shipping of only $6.95 in the U.S. and only $9.95 in Canada. But as a Club Couture customer, you will get exclusive flat rate shipping of only $4.95 in the U.S. and only $9.95 in Canada. And guys, that's on your entire order. That is pretty awesome. And don't forget, you will get exclusive offers and deals directly from Chalk Couture for being a Club Couture customer. Um, this month's special is called A All The Way, and it's pretty awesome. And it's almost done, and things are selling out. So if you want to get in on this, you need to join Club Couture ASAP. There is a selection of size A transfers that have retired, and there are some pretty popular ones, you guys. When you become a Club Couture customer, or if you are, just go to my website, sign into your Club Couture account on my website, and go to Club Couture promos. That's where you're going to find size A transfers at 50% off that are retired. $5 US, $7 Canadian. If you are interested in joining Club Couture, the details uh, and the link can be found down below in the description of the video on both YouTube and Facebook. 
Now, let's talk about, it is, guys, what is it? December 24th. There's seven days left in this year. Are you thinking of what to do for 2021 to change your life, to change things around, to get some extra income, to when the pandemic is over to meet new people? Why not consider a small investment into joining my award-winning team, purchasing your business in a box, and launching your empire? This is our new designer kit, AKA Business in a Box. I call it a business in a box because everything you need to jumpstart a business can be found in the box. There's no overhead. It is that box and it's pretty awesome, you guys. So it is a small investment of $99 plus tax and shipping in the US, $135 plus tax and shipping in Canada. Now, that box is gonna come to you valued at 250 US, 330 Canadian, and it's gonna include five three ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a nine by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, our gorgeous autumn winter catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, along with that awesome club couture transfer. Now, I realize I threw out a whole lot of info at you and you probably still have questions. Um, but please don't worry because I have your answers. All you need to do is go in the description of this video on both YouTube and Facebook and get the link to my opportunity group. Once you join my opportunity group, I'll see it in there and I will go ahead and approve you and tag you in a video that I did that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. Because guess what? I want it to be a decision that you are happy with. So let's get ready to jump into this project today. Um, I am, I love December and January. I agree, Kim Nesbitt. It, it, they, those transfers are pretty freaking awesome for Club Couture. And you can only be a Club Couture customer to get them, right? So good morning. Happy Christmas Eve. I don't even have a fun Ray Dunn mug. I've got coffee break still. I was going to grab one before I left the house and I forgot because I just wanted to get into the store so I could get everything ready and I can come live and hang out Christmas Eve morning with my favorite peeps. So, um, oh, that's awesome, Carol Berry. Girl, we are open until noon here in my store and then we are closed until next Wednesday. Um, it gives me time to go out, get some things that I was looking for, like greenery for um, my December Club Couture project that I did. Um, I haven't had time to go out. I just haven't. And I refuse to go out with all the Chris the people that are out there for Christmas. I don't want to be out in the stores. Um, I'll go early Saturday morning to um, a store to go get some greenery stuff to add to something that I made. But in the meantime, I am getting a surface prepped for a project that I'm going to be doing for Valentine's Day. I'm going to put a few of these in my store because I've had so many people ask me about tiered trays and I'm like, oh, Number one, it's it's going to be finding the tiered trays because, well, your girl hasn't gone out and done a run at her favorite place um, for a little bit because, like I said, there's too many people out. I need it to be back to where there's like nobody out anymore because I don't want to be catching a virus. It's that simple. So let's go ahead and let's, I bet you will, Carol. Um, we woke up to no power. We're supposed to, oh, Kim, I, we're supposed to be getting this monster um, rainstorm. They're saying high winds. Um, I think they said hail and they're saying the winds are going to be so high. It's probably going to be damaging and likely we will not have power tomorrow either. So hopefully we do have power. Um, hi Heidi. Good morning. Hi Liam Parker. Hi Jeannie Killian. Hi Cindy Stoller. Hey Terry Haynes on YouTube. Hi Rebecca Baker. It was nice to see you yesterday. Hi Debbie Green. Hey, Anita Moran. How are you? Hello, hello. So um, why don't you guys join me while I do some prep work? So in the description of the video, I put everything that I plan to use for this project. Now, I am doing, this is m probably my favorite surface that we have. I am down to only having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine left in it for me to make projects on. Guys, my customers love these. I sell these all day long. I distress them up and I put different sayings on them. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, the welcome to the porch, I think, I'm pretty sure that's that's retired. Um, but obviously I still have it because I had it when it came out. I can't keep that in the store. Every time I put it out, it goes. So I'm obsessed with these surfaces. Obviously my customers are too. And I'm going to be making two different things 
with these surfaces. One will be what I'm gonna show you today and then another one's gonna be a serving tray and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. But that's not gonna be today. It's gonna be another day, another project. Um, it was so nice to see you too, Rebecca. So um, let's do this. So uh, number one, you guys know I, I am not, you know, I, I love this paint. Um, I am literally going to go just like this because all I wanna do is just stress this. Um, it's not going to be where it's the whole thing is is white. I'm literally going to just pull it off across and just use a dry brush and pull this color around. I don't want the whole thing to be all 100% white. I want to get some distressed looks in there. I am going to do the sides same way. Um, because it's going to be standing up. We're going to be making like a vignette. Um, I think I did this with you guys. Actually, I don't know if I did it live. I don't think I did. I did one for 4th of July. Um, and I don't know if I ever showed you guys how I did it. So I want to show you now. So this, look how quick and easy that is. Like, does it get any easier? And I love that it appears to be distressed. I'm trying not to make myself be all painy because I'm in my comfy outfit to go do our drive-bys to give our nieces, our niece and nephews their gifts today. Um, later on, we're just going to be doing quick drive-bys, all their houses, dropping off gifts. Gosh, it's so not the same. And I cannot wait to celebrate next year once things go back to normal with my whole family because, God, I miss them so much. So very much. I feel like I'm missing out on some of the big things, too, like the littles with their magic and excitement of... Santa coming and all that stuff. So that quick and easy, this part is done. Now I'm going to dry it because I'm likely going to walk into it. Um, hi, Denise Nutter. Good early morning. Hi, Sherry Prince. Merry Christmas to you guys. Before I forget, I'm going to go. Actually, no, not yet because I might have to paint some things. I don't know. I got to look and see. But um, quick and easy, right? So we've got that done. Um, and like I said, every surface that I plan to use with this project is in the chalk link. Every color chalk paste I plan to use. The two transfers that I want to use. And guys, one of the transfers, what did I, oh, what did I do with that? Hold on. I moved it. Oh, this one. <sighs> guys, this is while supplies last. And this was a goodie last year. It's called Sprinkled with Love. I will be putting all types of cute stuff. I'll also be using this to make a bunch of cute tiered tray stuff. So if you don't have this transfer, please jump into my online store now and grab it because it's in while supplies last. So once it goes, it's gone. And I don't want you to be like, oh, I really wish I would have grabbed it. Grab it now. Grab it now. Um, so we've got this part done. I don't think I'm going to need to paint anything else. I'm trying to think. My houses are okay. This is okay. My door tag because guess what? We're going to be doing the same sort of thing with the door tag as well. Good morning, Heather James. Hi, Miriam. Good morning. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing the same sort of thing with the door tag, um, which is why I have another piece, which I don't even know what I did with it. I moved it. Oh, here it goes. Um, so I do need to paint. So I got to grab this and hold on. Yeah, this... Yeah, that's a little bit too big, but that's okay. This one is going to fit, and we'll make a little door tag shelf. So let's get this painted, too, because I forgot. So what are these pieces that I'm using? Guess what they are? They're a 5 by 7 palette signs that came back in stock yesterday and our 9 by 12 which was in stock. So, guys, get some palette signs. Um, you could use the smallest of saws, a really good razor blade, and you just want to cut along the side. They all have the palettes, so they have the lines. Cut along the lines. That's all you got to do. Um, I got to just paint this because there's the three sides, and this is the middle side because I already used the other side. Both of the other sides I'm planning to use on the big one. So I'm just going to quick prep this, like I said. It's going to be the cutest thing ever. So if you guys don't have this stuff, snag it. Snag it, snag it, snag it. All right, so this guy is ready. So now I am really done. I guess maybe I should just paint this while I have the paint out. I mean, what the hey, right? Um, I don't mind to paint this side. 
let me just pull some of this over and then I can quick paint it. What color paint did I use on my surface? It's called Salty Secret, Rebecca. I can send you the link if you want. Um, when I'm done, just message me and remind me to send it to you. It's There's a, different ones. There's the secrets and then there's the, the paints. I prefer the secrets. I use the paints, don't get me wrong, but I feel like the secrets dry quicker. And the secrets distress better. Oh, yay, Debbie Green, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. That's so good, girl. That is so, so good. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get this other one painted while I have it out, just because, it, oh, this one I don't need to. It's got the other end is good. Okay, so let me just put my paintbrush into some water. That way I don't forget and come back next week to a hard paintbrush. So, let's do this. Open up the store real quick. So give me one second. Let me just uh, let me just uh, get the door unlocked, guys. So give me one second. Yo. And you can see outside that it looks like it just wants to pour rain. Oh, no fun. Okay, let me get over here. So we've got these painted, so let's get them dried real quick. Okay. Hi, Lisa Davis. Good morning. I wasn't sure how many people would be on this morning because I am on super early. But I've been up since 5.15, you know, of course. Can't sleep. Can't sleep, can't sleep. Hold on, I need my coffee near me. So, here's what I want to know. What tradition do you have for Christmas Eve? Do you have any family traditions? I think I may have said what mine was. We usually do the pajamas. And guess what I didn't get this year. So I'm going to turn 2020's tradition into pick your favorite pair of pajamas. And we'll wear them for Christmas. <coughs> That's what I'm going to do. That is what's going to happen. I think we're dry already. It doesn't, like I said, this paint doesn't take long to dry, you guys. It's like the best stuff in the world. Okay, now I'm going to use some tools. I'm pretty jazzed about it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, let me move these. Wait, these are the ones I'm going to use for this. Let me move these to the side. Whoa. Okay, because we're going to do the other one. Me too, I'm up between 4 and 4.30, can't sleep. Oh, Debbie Green. Hi, Stacey Michelle. I've missed watching the chalking videos. Very relaxing. Oh, well, hi. Merry Christmas Eve. Play board games. Yes, Anita. Good morning, Mary Beth Endicott. Hi, Kathy Wilkie. How are you? Merry Christmas Eve. Okay, so like I said, I cut the palette. You guys can see this is the palette sign, right? You guys can see that. I just cut it right along the lines of the palette. That's all I did. Okay, so wait, hold on confused on what I just did these two okay and then this one goes over there and then same with this this is the bigger one okay the third piece is over here so it's all our surfaces which I love so we've got that we've got that so I'm gonna do my bigger piece of the shelf down here and then I'm gonna do the smaller shelf up here I think I'm going to make it line up exactly like that. So what I need to do is, well, it's obviously very crooked, so don't mind that. I'll fix that. Um, what I need to do is I'm going to hot glue it on to get it started, and then I'm going to use my brad nailer, and I'm going to air nail it. I don't even know if that's the right term. You guys, I'm the least toolish 
tool using girl out there, but I like my new little toys. So, um, oysters and champagne with friends. Ooh, Carol, we usually do seven fish at my mom and dad's house. I'm not a fish person, so my dad makes pizza for me. He made pizza. Um, we do the pajamas and when we do movie night box when we were kids. Oh, that's fun, Debbie. Yes. Hi, Marlene. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get this down. Now, my sweet, cute friend Rebecca gave me this yesterday, but I cannot find the, my big glue uh, thing, so I'm not going to use this one today. Today I'm going to use my, my old glue gun, but I'm going to unplug it as soon as I'm done because I am scared that I'm going to leave it on for the long time that I'm gone. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let me... It looks crooked in the video, but yet I'm lined up straight, which is really weird. Like it's straight. It looks, yeah. Okay, so I think that's how we're gonna do it. And then that way we made a shelf and I wanna do the houses and like some of the, our cute hearts. Um, I, I, I think it's gonna be absolutely adorable. I actually might move this guy down just a little bit more so I have some more room. Um, so that's, oh wait, hold on. We can't glue these down yet. Duh. We have to do our background pattern. How did I forget that? Okay. Hold on. I gotta find it. I want to do the XOXO, which by the way, let me just double check. I think that's due to come back next week. Hold on. Let me say resources. The big giant XOXO pattern. Size D. Size D. What is it called? Modern XOXO comes back next week. Yay! So I'm going to use that. I got to find it. Hold on. Modern XOXO. Or, you guys, we could do the pretty florals. Or we could do buffalo plaid. You know, if we did it buffalo plaid, it would be every day. That is an idea. But I think I'm going to do the modern XOXO. And then that way we can make this be a straight up Valentine's piece. But if I did it Buffalo plaid, guys, you know me, I love me and my Buffalo plaid. When is mini Buffalo plaid coming back? Oh, that's also next week. Ooh, Ugh, I just might have to make a second one. Mm, I just might have to make a second one. I mean, I'm pretty obsessed with these surfaces. Um, and as you can see this, oh Jesus. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, lack of coffee does this to me. Gosh. Really? And now it's binding up even more. <sighs> ah. Hold on. There it goes. Okay, save made. Okay, so we needed to do that first and foremost. Let's come back here. Um, we used to celebrate Christmas Eve, but my parents and my brother are now gone. My daughter... Hasn't talked to me in months, so I'm spent. Oh, Denise, I'm so sorry, Denise. Well, thanks, Deborah Mae Jones. I know, I'm so glad it comes back next week, too. I'm so, so glad. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking, A, I probably should have fussed this up. I'm probably going to be really sorry. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking I wasn't thinking. I want to, I'm thinking, do I want to do this? I know it's not currently in stock, but I can, you guys might already have it. Let me see when does Mobilis come back in stock. Okay, that's all TBD. Um, Rosewood. Should we use Rosewood? I did put that down as a color or should we do shimmer crimson and then oh gosh you guys i am i'm thinking maybe it should be shimmer crimson i think it should be shimmer crimson and then and then and then we can lightly sand over it that's what we're doing shimmer crimson oh you guys oh my gosh uh do 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 okay i think this is going to be so good Oh my goodness. Oh, I love my shimmer crimson. Look how glorious. I don't even have to mix this. This consistency is so awesome. All right, let's do this. I, I don't typically like to use things that are not in stock for you guys to get right now, 
but it's coming back next week. Okay, so just know that. And you, we have time, we have time. You know what even would have been cuter? Dang it, and I didn't think of it until just now. The Subway Art one, the February 14th. We could have just picked it up and moved it around and done it in different colors in the background. Well, I guess I just got to make another. I mean, I guess it's all there is to it. I mean, hopefully they're liked and they go in my store. I don't mind to make multiples of these. They're pretty freaking awesome. I love them. I have, I have the one, like I said, for Valentine, I mean, for 4th of July. And I think, I could have sworn, did I make one of these live with you guys? Or did I just never do it? I may have just never done it. Um, oh my gosh, and there is an awful lot of that sound, so this is going to have some bleeding, I'm sure. And that's okay. Thanks, Jeannie. Shimmer Crimson, yes, go for it. Yes, yes, yes. Who else is on? Hi, Tori. How you doing, girl? I miss you. Congrats on getting your teacher award. That is amazing. I God, I miss you guys so much. So, so much. Okay. I think this is going to be adorable. Okay, are we ready? Endless possibilities. Absolutely, Stacy. It really is. There's so many different things we could have done. Guess what? Even with the bumps. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys. All right, hold on. I got to wash it. I don't have any place to put it anymore. Hold on. Plus, with the shimmer chalk you don't want to let it sit in your transfer and now with our new transfers you have to walk you can't let it sit in the water right transfer washed and it's good that I did it now that way I can allow it to dry and it's I'm giving drying time to my surface right so let's get that all finished up Jumping in late, we'll catch up on replay. Hi, Amy Cresswell. Sounds good, girl. Merry Christmas. Okay, we got to dry this. Let's dry it. Oh, my gosh. This turned out beautiful. Wow. Now, you know, our shimmer colors are a little heavier. So they take a little bit longer to dry, okay? Oh, I can't wait to put the shelves on. It's going to be so cute. Oh, it's going to be adorable. Like I said, everything I, I, I'm planning to use is in the link, um, in the shopping link, okay? This is taking a little bit to dry. I know. I apologize. 
Good morning, Vicky Hunt, Vicky Hunter. Cindy story. Oh my God, catching me live for the first time. Hi, girl. Merry Christmas Eve. Thanks for watching, Cindy. Yes, Debbie Green. This transfer is pretty awesome, girl. Pretty awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm getting ready to head for my neck procedure. Good luck, Vicky Hunter. Good luck, girl. Merry Christmas Eve. Love you, girl. Let's see. Um, I want to see. Um, do, do, do. I want to see if something is still available that came back yesterday. <gasps> wow, the Aidens, you guys, are still in stock. <gasps> That's so exciting. Whoops. Oops, that's still a little wet. I got to make sure it's all dry because I'm going to be like handling this to do my, my shelves. So it's got to all be dry. Alrighty, and we are. Okay, so let's get our shelves on. What do I do with them? Where are they? Are they in front of my face and I'm missing them? There we go. This one or this one. I think it's this one. I think I'm going to use this one though. Mm, no. It's not that big of a job. Okay. So I'm going to be nailing these just like so. And like I said, I know they have to get straight. I, I have, I know that. I have to line them up the right kind of way. I need a level is what I need. Oh, God, guys, this is going to be so good. Part of me is thinking I should have painted the shelves red. Part of me. This little part of me. Do you think the white shelves look good or should we paint it red? What do you guys think? Before I get them nailed down. Merry Christmas, Cindy. I love you too, Vicky. I'm shocked they're still in stock. I got three. I didn't want to get greedy, but I want more. Girl, I got five because of upcoming classes. I'm about to go on and get a few for myself now. I am so excited. Even the 12 by 18 is still in stock. It's crazy. I think I might get one more. Okay. What do you guys think? Tell me, tell me, tell me. What do we think? Should I change? Should I paint the shelf part red? Remember, we're doing just the prep today. Leanne, you like them white. Deborah Mae Jones likes them white. Okay, I'll keep them white. All right, let's go ahead and let's get them on then. Rebecca likes the white. Okay, white it is. There's three votes for white. Amy likes the white. Okay, good deal. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to do one at a time. I need to lift this up for just a sec to make sure that it is sort of straight. Because if it's not straight, we're gonna have some issues. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is to start this off, I'm gonna load up on Gorilla Glue, okay? It's probably gonna squeeze out, and I don't really care, that's fine, okay? We just wanna make sure that we have a ton of glue to start to help it set, okay? So, hold on one second. Oh, I know my tongue is out. Fran always says, tongue's out, you must be, oh, move over. Oh gosh, I didn't go all the way over, there it goes. Okay, thank goodness the glue gave me a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so once I have it started, I'm gonna let it sit there. Now look, if I lay it down, it looks definitely crooked, but it's not. Okay, I'm gonna do the next one. Once everything is glued on really, really well, that's when I'm gonna get my air brad nailer thingy. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I'm not very technical, I told you. I'll show you guys. <laughs> okay. I 
is way crooked. That looks better. Okay, I'm just going to hold this here for a sec. I could paint the outer edge. That's a great idea, Danielle. Red things on a white shelf. Absolutely going to do that, Mary Beth. You got it right, girl. Everybody likes white. Debbie Green, Sherry Prince, Kim. You're going to get more now, Vicky says. I could paint the outer edge right, Carol Berry. Absolutely right. Yes, put white thing, put red things on the white shelf. Andrea says white. Yeah, every, okay, you guys are awesome. Copy away, Denise. Copy away, girl. I copied this. My sweet Heidi made this for one of my team Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we call it Tuesday in my team page, and I make projects for my team to use for bundle ideas, which is usually what would end up on my bundle of the week. Um, I haven't done a bundle of the week for myself in a little bit because... I'm still trying to navigate my waters of that is crooked. Now that I hold this up, it's crooked. Darn it. Um, I'm trying to navigate the waters of, you know, running the store and whatnot. But it's okay, you guys. It's a little crooked. It's it's seriously okay. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it bother me. Okay, I think I'm gonna do my little shelf way down here. That's what I think. Part of me thinks I should do this like this and repaint these edges. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna borrow this one. Did you cut our palette board in half? I did, Vicki Hunter, I cut it into threes. So I have three pieces, so three little shelves. Okay, ready? We're gonna glue this puppy on too. Ton of glue. And then once it's all set, we are going to um, use the nail gun thingy. <laughs> I'm so technical, I swear. Oh, I need help, you guys. Okay. All right, so if it's straight along this edge, I know that it's straight because it's the exact same width, right? So I know it's got to be straight or I could be so wrong. No, it's perfect. Yay! Oh, I love it. Okay. It's so good. Actually, it is crooked. Dang it. Okay, well, it's on there now. It's not going nowhere. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to get my airstrike. I don't know what it's called. It's called Ryobi Airstrike. It is a brad nailer, okay? Now, I got to be careful because I'm afraid I'm going to nail, do the nail spot myself. All right. So, I mean, I'm going to kind of eyeball it up. Yikes, that was, that packed a punch. Okay. Uh-oh, are we out or did I jam it up? Nope, we're good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hit the ones that I know are along, like I can see along the side to line it up. Goodness, it's heavy. Hopefully these are long enough. I didn't even think of that. I mean, I don't really know how long the nails are. I probably should have considered that. Hi, Mandy Lee. Hi, Val. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Jeanette Holmes. Okay, ready? I'm going to do it again on this one. I think this is about the same width as the wood that I've been doing for my other trees. I kind of feel like it is. Mm. Okay, let's do this side now. Like I said, this is why we needed, oh, everything to be dry. Savvy. Okay. So brave. I know, Amy, I got over it. What would you charge for a class? A class? Ooh. I don't know about a class. I need to think on that, Lisa. I would need to think on that, to be honest with you. I don't really know. Um, I'm sort of afraid to attempt to go to the middle, but it needs it. I wonder how I could figure out... Hmm, how could I figure out? Maybe I should measure. Let's get a measure. Okay. So it is... Five, if I go in five inches, I'm going to hit it. 
I just want to make sure I go down far enough. So four and three quarters down and five inches over. So four and three quarters down, which would be about there. Okay, hold on. We're going to attempt this. I don't really know a good way to do this other than the way that I'm doing it, you guys. I know it's not scientific at all. Four and three quarter. There's one dot. Let's go over five inches now. Holy Hannah, did I do that? <gasps> wow, I rock. It's like right here. All right, let's see if I can hit it. Mm. We'll see what happens. I either ruin it or I'm surely secured. Oh, boy. I literally was right underneath it. You've got to be kidding me. But you know what? Actually, that's not a bad thing. Because guess what? At least we know it's not going to fall. But here's what I worry about. You guys, seriously, how funny is this? Literally, look where the nail is. Can you see it? It's right there. I'm sure there's a way I can get that out. But you know what? I feel like it might make it safer because it isn't going to drop. So you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put glue over it so that way someone doesn't get hurt. How about that? Good morning, Iris. How you feeling? You only need one inch. Yes. They're long enough. Cool. <laughs> oh, Debbie Green. I know. Oh, I'm crazy. I am crazy. That looks to be about right here. I'm going to, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to just go for it. I'm going to just go for it. Let's go. What's the worst that can happen? I could just ruin the whole project. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Hold on. I'm not going to do it because if I ruin this, I'm going to be so sad. Okay, let's do it again. I want to get this one. Whoops. This part of the shelf now. So I'm going to go over probably the same amount, right? Five inches. Yeah, five inches puts me dead center. And then down from this nail, about four inches. So from this nail, four inches. Oh, duh. Okay, you know what? Guess what? I already see where to put the nail. I just have to follow the line over. All right, let's see if it works. And by putting the nail, I already put the nail on the other opposite side of this. So, you guys, yeah, see the edge? So hopefully, whoopsie, what happened? There it goes. Are you serious? I wasn't even close. And now it's in the center of the freaking board. How do I get it out now? Will wire cutters cut that? Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be so easy. No, it's not. Will wire cutters get that out? Let's see. Do I have wire cutters? I should have them in tools somewhere. If I was at home, I know where this tool is, but I'm here. And where would I have redone it? Where would I have restuck this? Um, what about hammer? Can I rehammer it out? Help, guys. How do I do it? I just ruined it. <laughs> Oh my, oh wait, I have this awesome thing. Do you think this could like make it get cut off? This oscillating multi-tool? I don't know, let's try a nail, let's try a hammer first. Hammer it out, let's hammer it out, shall we? Let's hammer it out. This is why I don't play with power tools. Well, it does not appear to be doing much because it's at an awkward angle. I could paint over it, but how do I hammer it out from the front? Yeah, but it's... I hope they don't hear me. Is it like 8, it's 831? Oh. It's a 
does not appear to be moving at all. It isn't. So you know what I'm going to do? Let me find, I know I have wire cutters. We're going to find it. We're going to find it. And I am. I'm going to just paint over it. It ain't ruined. I may have put wire cutters in with my tool kit for classes. I did. Okay, so if I were wire cutters, where would I be? I'm sure I brought my tools over. Maybe I didn't. I just feel like it should be in this section, and it's not. In this little area, my little tool area. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get wire cutters, and we're going to get rid of it. Do you think I could just pull it through? Take a tiny screwdriver, put it where the tip of the nail is, then hammer the screw. Oh, good thinking. I can do that. I've got that right here. Okay, I can do that. Hold tight. Pull, put something flat on the hem of the nail, use Dremel and cut it off. Put it through with pliers, fill the tiny hole. Pull it through with pliers. Lay the board down to get it started. Oh, that's a smart thing. See, you guys, we all learn together. Let me make the mistakes for you so that way you don't have to. <laughs> That's how I should advertise life. Let me make the mistakes for you. Okay. Doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. moving out at all it isn't I'm about to pull it through with pliers and then just super glue and then just glue it I have to use a bunch of force Ooh. let's try and pull it through with the pliers I kind of like that idea take a tiny screwdriver put it where the tip oh I, I read that okay okay let's see if I can just pull it through I don't feel like that is moving either, but it might be. Mm. Oh God, it isn't. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? We are going to, it, the cool thing is, oh wait, hold on. I think if I wiggle it, I can get it out. Yes! Oh, we got it. And you know what? That is not so bad. We're going to paint that real quick. It didn't even go through a spot. Wow, that couldn't have been any luckier. It didn't go through a spot on the whatchamacallit. So guess what? We now know where to avoid. Right? Right. We know where to avoid. Where I should not be air nailing or gunning, whatever it's called. I don't even know. So look at that, you guys. We just fixed that little issue. Good job. Who Was that Rebecca that told me to do that? Good job, Rebecca. Good job, you guys. You guys, we all worked as a team. Look what we did. All right, let's get the tools out of the way so we can finish this part. Do I even dare to attempt to try to? I don't watch my coffee. Power tools are. We get all sorts of tricks. Yeah, seriously. Oh, my God. You can't even tell that I did anything there. Like how I use my fingernail? <laughs> Use my fingernail up in there. Yes! You can't even tell. It's going to dry. You won't even be able to see it. Watch. Okay. Paint off my nails so I don't end up wiping it on my face or my clothes. Okay. So, next. Let's attempt this again. Let me dry this real quick. Now we know where not to go. I should, Danielle. That's a great idea. I should have pre-drilled. Totally could have. Of course, it would be the last little nail we got to do, right? I am, Iris. Yeah, we're open until noon today. Okay. So, now I want to go over a little bit more. I need to go over here. So, about... Let's, let's not about it, Jess. Let's measure. Where's my ruler? I only have one. Here it is. That's not about it. 
So from where I made the hole, two inches. Two inches more this way. So here, about right there is where I should have been. I think I was thinking I was, I went the wrong way. That's what the problem was. I think if had I have gone the correct way from measuring, I should have measured from this side. I think we would have been dead on. All right, let's attempt it. What the hey, right? <gasps> See if I would have done it the right way the first time. Right in, guys. I went right in. Okay, so look at that. We got our board prepped. We made two little itty bitty mistakes and nobody will ever know. All right, and like I said, for this one, I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna just put hot glue over it. So that way people don't get hurt. And then not only that, but it'll add an extra layer of, of, of heaviness to the shelf, right? There we go. You guys, this is awesome. So use the outer edge nail mark as a guide. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Hold on, let me see. Oh, you guys shouldn't have even been seeing that. Okay. How freaking cute. How cute does this look? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now, seeing this, obviously we'll be putting some red decor on here. Oh wait, hold on, we're not done. We have to do the door tag shelf because we're doing our prep today, right? So now we're going to do the same thing on the door tag, okay? Because this one, this has got a built-in hole so we could hang this up. So let's do our door tag now. Okay. Okay. Let me come back down. There we go. All right, so now here's the thing. I... That's not going to work. That's too big. So we're going to do this little guy. Oh, it's going to be so cute. We could just put him randomly. Like, and then we can make it like a little shelf. I should put, where do you guys think it should go? Should it go closer to the bottom? Should it go towards the middle? I think it should be closer to the bottom. What do we think? You guys tell me. And then we're going to hot glue it in. So early for all this math. I know, Amy. I know. Thank you, Marlene. Paint over the hot glue once dry. Yep, absolutely, Danielle. Great idea. Good job. I like it. So do you guys like the idea of, let's see, I can go in half inch on that side and a half inch on this side, which would put us about right there. Bottom, 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 bottom. Wow, there you go. You guys answered that question for me. So let's go ahead and let's do this. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pop a ton of hot glue on this. Okay. And then, like I said, I'm going to go in. Hold on. Go up about an inch. And over. About a half an inch. That is crooked. There we go. So we've got, and this is all from one palette surface, you guys. This is one of our five and a half by seven and a half palette signs. Mark my board first, yes. <laughs> Hey, Jill. So the long shelf is actually our, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining. It is actually our nine by 12 palette sign that I just cut um, along the lines of the palette. So you can see this is the other two pieces that I still have left. So I just used the one piece of it. And you can see I wasn't very good at cutting it, but I'm not really worried about it. It's fine. Um, and the long part that I put it on is actually our, um, diagonal reclaimed palette sign. It's in my online store. And if you don't have, um, Jill, I don't know if you are already a designer or if you are not. Here is 
all of the details for where you can find everything. Um, the link to my, the, all the items in my store is inside there where it says shop here. Did I respond? Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay. So there we go. So this is in. All right, now we're going to mark the surface. So I went in. So if I go in a half inch and up an inch, I think that's what I did. Oh, two inches. Okay, I went up two inches. One, two inches. So if I got to go up two inch and in an inch. So up two inches over an inch. So here's an inch. Two inches up. So there's that one. Let's see if I'm close. I should be. Hopefully I don't wreck it. We'll see what happens. Ooh. Oh, yeah, man. Right on. It went right in. Ha, ha, ha. Ow. I guess it doesn't go all the way forward. I might have to nail that in a little bit more. It's sticking out a little bit. No big deal. It's fine. I'll just hammer it in. All right, so we want to go over an inch and up two inches. So there's my inch. I want to go up two inches. Oh. There we go. All right, let's do it again. Let's see if that worked. Oh, it went right off the side. <laughs> I was this close. Man. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to just do the same thing. We're going to glue it. So now I know I just, oh, and see, look, there was my mark. How did I not hit that? See, I don't know how exactly to do this yet. There it goes. Oh, my God. No, they both went. What the heck? Now it went in. Both of them went to the side, for goodness sake. So let's put the glue off to that. And then I'll just paint over this like Danielle suggested. No biggie. Nobody's going to get hurt on this one. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Merry Christmas Eve. Bottom middle. Oh, my gosh. I am the worst. Um, Hi, Heidi. Merry Christmas Eve. That's why it needs to be flush on the table. That's not going to happen because this wasn't flush. But look at that. We got another little shelf using our... What is this called? Our door tag. I'm taking the power piece out of this because I don't trust myself, clearly. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So let's show the shelves that we made. Oh, that's fine. Let's show the shelves that we made. Okay, so we got, and these are all prepped to get started with items to put on them for next week. Ooh, and you know what I think I'm going to do? I might do, um, not the XOXO, but the Subway art in like a different color maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it, but it'll be nice to just have it plain. How cute is that? And it'll be able to hang up. I love that idea. Um, an arrow in the top of the power tool head. There was, and I thought I lined it up right. I don't know. Apparently I didn't. This one, hold on. I already almost hurt myself with the nail on this. Goodness. I'm going to wind up breaking it. How come these nails don't go in? Oh, well, that's going to be good enough. I'm not trying to wake up the people that I, I rent my store from. <laughs> okay, so we did that one. Let's see the other one we did. We got this one all ready to rock and roll. How cute. I can't wait to fill it up with stuff. It's going to be adorable. A little Valentine's vignette. We'll put, put things that we would do for it'll also double. We could do tier tray items on here too. You guys. Hi, J oh Jill, I'm so glad. I am, if you've never watched me before, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing with power tools. I get help from you guys. <laughs> I like to think I do. I like to feel like I'm like, I am woman, hear me roar. Not with power tools. Hear me sigh is more like it. Um, Thanks, Linda. I appreciate that. Thanks, Sherry. So you used it to guide where the nail will go. Where it points to is where it enters the board. Goodness. 
That's okay. I'll get it. I'll learn. I'll learn eventually. So you guys, I hope you have an amazing Christmas Eve. I am going to go um, get ready because maybe people, I opened early, but I already was opening early at nine. So um, I'm going to go make sure that everything is done and that way people are ready. Hopefully they will shop small, which will be nice. Um, I'm excited to do my drive-bys for my family today. Just drive by and drop off gifts. It'll be nice. Um, thanks, Amy. Thank you, Mandy Lee. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, for the next four, wait, Christmas... Christmas, I'll probably jump on just to say Merry Christmas and whatnot. No project. Um, but Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you're going to have videos from me because I will not be here. So I pre-recorded videos so that way I can enjoy time with Bran and Bob. Um, I miss my boys. I miss having more time with them. So it's going to be family time. But I have projects set. Don't you worry. I already made the videos for them. Uh, so I hope you guys have an awesome day. Merry Christmas Eve. Be safe out there. Don't go out if you don't have to. Um stay in. Let's not be super spread in this virus. Let's just have it gone so that way we can enjoy next year. Um, but if you do not see me tomorrow, I will be on. But if you miss me, I'm going to wish you a Merry Christmas now. Thank you so much. I'm so, so thankful for all of you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting me in my small business. Uh, if you're on my team, thank you for being on my team and finding value in the fact that I'm your leader. Um, but I will chat with you all later. I'll make sure. And thank you, Deb. Hi, Tina Paquette. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you, Marlene. You too. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Hi, Heidi. You're good with power tools. You're using the not too important part. Mm, I guess so. Thank you, Danielle. Um, yes, right, Rebecca. Thank you, Anita. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will chat with you all, I guess, later. All right. Bye, guys.